What's going on, guys? Quasi here for Quasi Media, Quasi Animations. Um, today, I want to show you how to use rhubarb lip sync. So, we're going to start. Alrighty then. So, we'll keep it simple. Make sure that you install rhubarb. Go to the GitHub site. It has exactly how you install it already on the site. So, we ain't got to go through all of that. I expect you to have some sort of knowledge of Blender. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to go through a whole bunch of things. With that being said, we have character here, my girl Yanma. Again, this is the rhubarb lip sync tutorial. All right. <laughs> so, uh, or rather, video, because I don't really like saying tutorial. All right. So, what you're going to do is, is you, when you open it up, you have to have a post library. And the post library has to, say this, um, has to have the word phonemes in it. Okay, period. It could just be phonemes or it could be lib.phonemes or lib phonemes. Alright. But it's got it or underscore, but it's got to say phonemes. Okay. Alright, so now let's close that and then it has to open up. Now mind you, I am using Blender 2.91. I am not using 3.0. And the reason why is because rhubarb lip sync does not work in 3.0 right now until someone updates it. Um I tried to look at the code myself, but it didn't really work out that well. Uh, I couldn't really tell what part to fix, if that makes sense. So I think that the entire thing has to be redone. But with that being said, it's just easier to use an older version of Blender. You can use 2.93 and do what I'm about to do. So what you have to do in order for this to work properly, right here you see that it's grayed out. In order for this to work accordingly, you have to have a bone select. So now you see when I select the bone, it pops up. So I select all of them, and of course it's gonna be there. And then what you would do is you would come up here to sound file and then you would input your sound file. And then after that, basically you could just hit save so that, you know, if something goes wrong, at least it's saved. And then you click rhubarb lip sync and then it will go through the process. Now you can go through and refine it or whatnot. I'll show you what I tend to do when I refine it, but I'm just gonna keep it simple, okay? I'm not gonna go through a whole step and I even show you how you, basically how you would go about refining it for the sake of, I mean, not refining it, go about appending it to another, uh, to 3.0. Okay. So what I tend to do is, is it's already busy. My, my, mine is already set to busy. So I'll just hit X and then clean the channels. And then with, with the help of anime, you don't have to have anime, but with the help of anime, I will smooth it out. So I, I, I have on one slider smooth, another slider blend ease. And I click the first on the right hand side, the first tab on it once on blend ease and then three times on smooth. And then it'll play out okay. strength now i will refine it because she said desire strength but you see her mouth is staying a certain way and it should be breaking open and it's not your strength blood is life okay so it's already set up to work all right now if i want to use this again for something else since i already have one set up it's called young line one is already done and this is the one that is set up already oh, this one is set up already to, to have the line improve so watch as we play desire is strength see blood is life i wish to see your glorious might okay so now since i already have it set i've named the line yonla yonla nine line one because it's my yonla character not vesta even though this line says vesta not i don't have any lines for her yet and then i make a fake user and then basically what you would do in blender 3.0 is append that audio you just go to that audio file and then you would append that audio okay you just grab that audio I mean, a pin that action. So you would go to a pin and then you would just basically go to the character and say you open it up. And uh, like here, I would go in a pin, like I'm already in Blender, right? So let's just say I go to, I'll go back to verses and I'll pin, mm, let's go to s set up season two, episode one, Castle of Desire and go here. And then I would append that action, okay? So let's say there's a there's a phonem action in there. So right here it says uh, would be a good one. It says uh, uh, armature none vesta action. So I would click that action and then that action would append in here. So if I go to that action, automatically uh, the character sets to that said action. Okay, and in this case that action is this where she's looking up. So I wish to see you. All right, so that's one of the things that like uh, so once you do that with the voiceover. It, it still do the same thing. Desire is strength. And there you go. All right, so that's how you would append it into 3.0. Basically, you just move that action in there, put whatever you want it, and then you're good. 
So with that being said, man, I hope that helps someone. Number love, holla, y'all later.